heart will start to slow down, the brain and the electrical system will start to slow down, the immune system will become suppressed, everything becomes suppressed, secondary following that is hypothyroidism. Dr. Broda Barnes wrote a wonderful book many years ago, which is a classic, called The Hidden Cause of All Disease. I believe that was the name of it, The Hidden Cause of Illness or The Hidden Cause of All Disease. Dr. Broda Barnes, if anybody's interested in reading this classic book, B-A-R-N-E-S, and he talked about how depression and autoimmunity and cancer and heart disease all have this hypothyroid connection, which makes sense because the thyroid is the engine that runs every system in the body. But the real issue is, is that the thyroid is linked up to the adrenal glands. And as the body's ad- the adrenal glands are your stress management glands. So there's a relationship between the energy we get from our stress system, our emergency system, and the energy we get from our regular energizing system, the thyroid. Called, we call this the adrenal thyroid axis. And that is a line that you can, imaginary line that you can draw from the adrenal glands, the emergency energy system, to the thyroid gland, the regular energy system. What that means is, is as the body's adrenal energy, as the body runs on adrenal energy more and more and more, the thyroid will start to slow down. And the number one reason why the thyroid becomes suppressed, the main reason why the thyroid becomes suppressed, is by chronic adrenal system activation. What the heck is that noise there? John, I don't know what that is. John, uh, that's all right, Michael. Tune, John, if you could tune down that, uh, turn down that phone call. This is very important. I want to get into this. The number one reason why the thyroid slows down is because of uh, excess stress survival emergency activity. So calming the body down is strategy number one. Strategy number one for uh, uh, reducing the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Deep breathing techniques, uh, eliminating problem foods, reducing any. Anything that puts a stress into the body, nutritional deficiencies, anything that burdens the body, certainly psychological and mental and emotional burdens as well, anything that burdens the body is going to eventually have an effect on slowing down the thyroid via this adrenal thyroid axis. So eliminating stressors, especially digestive stressors, calming the body down using deep breathing techniques, sitting in a hot tub and relaxing, massage, uh, nutritional supplementation, eliminating sugar and pro-inflammatory foods. All of these are very important for uh, helping, suppre- helping prevent hypothyroidism. The second major cause of hypothyroidism is autoimmunity. In fact, many, many, if not most cases of Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism involve an autoimmune reaction against the thyroid. You can always tell you have an autoimmune problem by digestive health issues. If you have uh, digestive health issues in combination with hypothyroidism, it's almost a guarantee that you're dealing with an autoimmune issue. That means link, uh, find digestive symptoms, link those digestive symptoms to uh, specific foods, and then eliminate those foods. So number one for hypothyroidism, you've got to reduce the stress that's getting into the body through foods, through lack of oxygen, through lack of nutrition, And number two, you've got to correct digestive problems, eliminating any kind of autoimmune attack on the thyroid. Now, this idea of just using iodine for the thyroid is just as silly as just using Synthroid for the thyroid. Iodine is an incredibly important nutrient. I mean incredibly. It's essential. It's just as important as vitamin C and vitamin E and selenium and all of the other essential nutrients. But you don't want to think of using iodine as some kind of medicine or some kind of uh, dosing remedy for hypothyroidism. It is not. Unless you have uh, everything's perfect in your body and all you are is deficient in iodine, you're not going to get rid of your hypothyroid symptoms simply by taking iodine. Again, that doesn't mean iodine's not important. It is. It's very, very very important, and I highly recommend everybody gets on an iodine supplement, but taking care of your thyroid is much more than simply taking iodine. Number one for hypothyroidism, relax the body, eliminate uh, stressors, uh, and uh, especially digestive stressors, correct autoimmune issues, and that especially means uh, eliminating problem foods, and then using nutritional supplements like iodine can be very helpful, but selenium is also very important for the thyroid. I'd be using the the ultimate selenium from Yongevity, to 600 micrograms a day. MSM sulfur, also very important for the thyroid. The B vitamins, very, very important for the thyroid. You'll get that uh, your B vitamins in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. 
And then uh, vitamin A, also very important for the thyroid. I would be taking 20,000 international units a day of vitamin A. Vitamin C can be helpful for the thyroid. Maybe 5,000 milligrams a day, you'll get vitamin C in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well. So, uh, and then also essential fatty acids, always important for all hormone, uh, all hormonal health issues. Uh, omega-3 fatty acids especially. Make sure you're on your ultimate EFAs. These are all nutritional supplemental strategies for helping with hypothyroid in addition to the iodine that everybody seems to know is important for the thyroid. So relaxing the body, making sure you're eliminating stressors, especially digestive stressors, linking uh, foods to digestive symptoms to correct any autoimmune problems, and then using nutritional supplements uh, are all strategies for helping with the thyroid. Thanks for your call, Michael. I hope we helped you out with that. The most important point here is it's not just iodine for the thyroid, even though that seems to be what everybody thinks. Uh, everybody thinks that iodine is some kind of remedy for the thyroid. And by the way, if you are hypothyroid and your doctor says, well, you've got to be on Synthroid, you might want to advise your doctor uh, from a pharmacist that Synthroid is a very, very, very poor pharmaceutical, pharmacological treatment for hypothyroidism. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the super, uber, mega important supplement, choline. And I'll begin the program tomorrow talking a little bit about my take on this whole controversy with One World Way. Thanks so much for listening, folks. I encourage you to check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. And if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, give the Brightside Ben phone team a call at 866-735-2470. Or alternatively, you can click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at BrightsideBen.com and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner, and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Mother's Day is right around the corner. If you haven't ordered Mother's Day flowers yet, visit ProFlowers.com for an amazing deal. Get 100 gorgeous blooms for mom with a free glass vase for $19.99. Her flowers are guaranteed to stay fresh and beautiful for at least one full week. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to ProFlowers.com slash radio right now and enter the code PLOW, P-L-O-W. That's ProFlowers.com slash radio and enter code PLOW, P-L-O-W. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy.